fun for everybody. It turns out there's a woman running in Louisiana who's a Republican who's now known as the Palin of the South. Wow, uh, I'm not sure I'd want that um, great title. Uh, it turns out, guess who gave it to her? Uh, she did. <laughs> she's Lenar Whitney, she's a state rep, and now she's running for US Congress. Luckily, she's in fourth place. Well, you know what the Cook Report does? They went, they go and do like this review of all the people who are running, and David Wasserman did hit her review. I'm gonna get to that in a second because it's phenomenal. But first, uh, let's actually show you um, this lovely woman, Lenar Whitney, and have her speak in her own words and see if we can figure out if she really is the pale on the south. Recently in my announcement speech for Congress here in Louisiana, I said something very provocative. I said that global warming is a hoax. Naturally, liberals in the lamestream media became unglued and attacked me immediately. But as George Orwell once wrote, in the time of universal deceit, telling the truth is a revolutionary act. A specter is haunting America. It is perhaps the greatest deception in the history of mankind. It has been almost 10 years since failed presidential candidate Al Gore put out his propaganda film, The Inconvenient Truth, proclaiming that the actions of America's energy industry are causing a catastrophic rise in the Earth's temperature. But quite inconveniently for Al Gore and for the rest of the politicians who continue to advance this delusion, any 10-year-old can invalidate their thesis with one of the simplest scientific devices known to man, a thermometer. The Earth has done nothing but get colder each year since the film's release. God certainly has a wonderful sense of irony. <laughs> That's not remotely true, it hasn't, it's gotten warmer. They're amazing, man. You see how they flip Orwell on his head? They use lies, and the rest of the four minutes of that video was one unbelievable lie after another after another. And they're like, you see, in a world of deceit that we have created. <laughs> unbelievable. So it turns out the main problem is Al Gore. Okay, so nicely done. You're going for that whole Palin thing by being a woman and saying things like lamestream media and then lying at every turn. Okay, great, no problem. Well, it turns out that when you go to interview her, she doesn't like questions. Well, once again, living up to the Palin of the South. At the end of this interview, apparently according to Wasserman, she literally ran from the building. She wouldn't take any more questions, got up and ran out of the room. <laughs> hey, you know what, that's also Palin of the South. Remember how Palin ran out of Alaska in the middle of her being governor? She's like, oh, I didn't win uh, vice president. There's a lot of reality shows to do and make a lot of money on TV, I got a goal. <laughs> she ran out of office, right? Okay, but let's go to the review because this is a fun part. They say Louisiana State Rep Lenar Whitney, candidate, Louisiana 6th Congressional District. Makes sense. This is out of a, it's like Zagat, out of 30, right? So personality, 12 out of 30. Hmm. Grasp of the issues, 3 out of 30. Sense of pure animal terror, 30 out of 30. <laughs> Left shaken by encounter, oh God, yes. Now they go on to say, Whitney stands apart from the candidates met in hundreds of Cook political report meetings by not being just fact averse, but indeed the most frightening candidate I've met in seven years interviewing congressional hopefuls. Damn. Remember, like, there's nitwits like Louis Gohmert who actually made it into Congress, let alone the people, let alone the people he beat in Republican primaries, <laughs> okay? All of those insane nitwits, and apparently she's the worst ever. <coughs> In fact, uh, final quote, she's sure to be somebody's worst nightmare. Well, I think actually, lucky for us, she's probably her own worst nightmare. People who are adverse to reality usually wind up running into it at some point. 